hello everyone and thank you so much for tuning in today this is the look we're going for um i uh, i created this look using it's my ray ray's palette that she released with bh cosmetics and i also used some of her brushes you'll see those featured and also i used some drugstore products because you know this is a very affordable palette and bundle at that so to find out how to get this look just keep watching while you're at it don't forget to thumbs up subscribe and leave your comment right on down below so i'm starting with the black radiance true complexion primer i'm putting a little bit on my face well on my finger and then i'm gonna put it on my face next i'm going in with my nyx micro brow pencil in the shade brunette I'm going to brush my brows up. Then I'm lining the bottom of the brow. And I know my brows look a little wild right now, but we're not going to talk about it. So I know my brows are looking like some thickums right now, but we're going to go in with the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer in the color light number 20. Okay, maybe, maybe this wasn't a good idea. We'll see. Do, 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 do. So I'm just going to put a little of that on the back of my hand. And then I'm going in with It's My Ray Ray's number nine i've never used her brushes before but uh here they are and they're still in the wrappers they're brand new they came in this nice box right here and it tells you what the uses are what they can be used for and even how you can use them in multiple ways so going in with this on the back of my hand and i'm gonna go clean them up underneath Now, I know it looks a little weird right now, but we gon' we gonna fix that, okay? And we're done with my brows. See, they look a lot better. See, I told you to be patient with me. Um, but next, I'm gonna try this thing out called, it's my Ray Ray, her palette. I have it right here look at those colors aren't they beautiful and the best thing is i got this bundle for only $34.99 it comes with three highlighters three contour shades and i think it's 21 eyeshadow colors but i've used this a few times and i really like it um the only thing i have to say is i didn't really like this for my under eye powder um the color was fine it just caused a little creasing so i prefer to use this color like under here but not to set my highlight um, not my highlight, not to set my under eye concealer. So the first color I'm going to go into this palette is Control Freak. So this is what I'm going to use. And I'm also using her brush in the color, not the color, the number six. So I'm just going to use this as my transition shade. Pop this into my crease. Ooh. This is pretty. I will say that the color doesn't quite look look like it does in the pan. It looks more like a brown color here, but like in person, I don't know what the camera's picking up. It's more like a orangey mauve color, which which suits her because everything else in the well, the palette color itself is like a a pink, rose gold, mauvey color. brushes are really soft so now that we have that color in our crease I think next I'm gonna go in with Friday which is right here and I think I'm gonna go for like a halo eye today let's see how this turns out so I'm gonna use that same brush and go in yup so I'm gonna do it on 
the outer corner. I'm gonna just go with the shape of my bone that is right there. Just gonna blend that in. This is just really pretty. There's some fallout, but I mean, it's pigmented, it's okay. I'm also going to go in the inner side because, like I said, this is a halo. Now I'm going back into Control Freak and I'm just going to sweep that over to connect both the Friday sides to each other. So next I'm going to go into the color Connie, which is, I don't know if you can see, which is the color purple. Looks like a purple like color in this. So I'm going to pop that right on the outside. I'm going to go up to the crease, but see it's not quite on the bone. It's just below the bone and still on the lid. Put that shade up. I'm going to do the same thing with the inside. Again, not quite up to the bone. Well, just up to the bone, but not quite at the bone. Also, you guys, I forgot to say that I'm using her brush in the number eight. So after we got the purple in, I want to make it a little tiny bit darker. So I'm going to take Black Beauty I'm using the same brush. And I'm just popping it on the very outside corner. Right there. But this is still touching the bone. And then I'm doing the same thing on this side. Again, not too much, but just enough. So now that we have that on, I'm going back with the number six brush, which is the one we used um, with Control Freak to do the crease. And I'm just going to like make some wiping motions just to blend that over. I'm telling y'all, I can, this palette is dynamite. Like, yeah, it has some fallout, but the pigmentation and the price, $34.99 for this and nine brushes, it's unbeatable. It really is. Next, I'm using It's My Ray Ray's number seven brush, and I'm going into Passion right here. And I, this isn't wet or anything, let's see. It doesn't really need to be wet, but I feel like it would really pack a punch if it was. Let's see. I don't know if I want to try wetting it yet. Okay, I don't I don't want to try wetting it, but what I will do, I'll take this shade Tiffany and pop it right on top of that to see if that brings it out a little more. But I'm only putting this in the center of it. Okay, that does the job right there. Next, I'm going in with the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2 in 1 Foundation Concealer in the color 9, which is 10. Um, normally, I put this on the back of my hand, but I think. I'm just going to put it on my face. I'm 
Okay, and I'm not going to use her brushes for this just because I, I know how this one is. This is the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend this out. It might have been a good idea to rub around. It's okay. So now that my foundation is all on, I'm going back in with the Better Skin Concealer and I'm going to use that underneath my eye. Down the bridge of my nose. I'm not going to go quite up all the way to my forehead. And I'm going to try this little nose thing. We're going to see how that goes. All right, so I got that all on my face. I'm going to blend it out with this little mini sponge. I know you're thinking Kayla was a big sponge, but... I think I left it back at school. I'm at home right now. Like home home for the holidays. So anyway, I'm going to take this little mini sponge and blend it out. Now, I know this concealer is a little lot of light on me, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the brush that I used to apply my foundation, and I'll blend the edges out. Much better. Next, I'm going in with my Airspun face powder, and I'm going to use a little sponge, and I'm only going to apply it underneath my eye. So obviously I said only underneath my eye, but got a little whisked out somewhere. Just put that, yeah, my bad. Next, I'm going back into It's My Ray Ray's palette, and I'm going to use the color Mocha. Like I said, the colors in here aren't exactly like how you would pit think they would be. Like, you would think I would need this color, but watch. So, I'm taking her brush in the number two, and I'm going to dab that in the Mocha. And I'm going to the top of my ear. I'm just going to brush that. See, told you guys. Do the same thing on this side. Going back in the mocha and I'm taking that around my forehead. Now I'm taking what's left of Mocha on my brush and I'm going to use it to brush away the airspun. I want a little bit more. So I'm going to go back in with the Mocha a little bit more. There we go. That's it. Um, forehead. I think my forehead's okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like take this number two brush and I'm going to flatten it like so. Go back into the mocha and then I'm gonna use that to go down the bridge of my nose. Well, the sides of my nose. So, I learned that technique from watching her use her palette as far as the brush. I'm really impressed. Ray Ray girl, you did your thing. 
Next, using It's My Ray Ray's brush in number three, I'm going into the Maybelline Fit Me blush in the color Deep Wine. I'll put that right there. Let's see, hold up. I need to get my mirror, mirror situation together. Is this even showing up on the camera? I don't know, but it's pretty. So now it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for. I'm going into, uh, I don't know, Moonlight or Radiant? I feel like Radiant seems like too typical for me to pick right now. So I'm gonna go in with the Moonlight. Um, I've heard a lot of great things like from about the moonlight. I've heard it resembles trophy wife even though it looks white So we'll see about that um, To go I literally tapped two times in here and this is what I got um, the brush is dry so Oh Yes Oh Oh snap you about to be glowing into the new year. Oh. It looks like Trophy Wife, but for what I pay for this whole palette, I would have to pay for the highlight. Going down the bridge of my nose. Tip of my nose. Cupid's bow. Ooh. Ow. Okay, so next I'm going back into the eye. I'm going to go back into Control Freak and I'm using the brush in number eight. I'm going under the eye. Now I'm going to go into Going into Friday right here. Kind of doing the halo thing, but on the bottom set. And then next I'm going into Connie. Um, I'm doing the same thing that I did on the top on the bottom, if that's what you're wondering. Now I'm going back into Passion right here. Popping that on the bottom now. And then I'm taking Tiffany and I'm putting it right over top of Passion again. Okay, so now that my under eyes are almost done, I'm just gonna take the brush in number seven and I'm just gonna like sweep it over at the bottom. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really over here glowing from C to shining C. Ain't no way in the world you can miss me. So I almost forgot to set my brows. So what I've been doing lately, I've used the Great Lash by Maybelline Mascara in clear. And I'm gonna take this and set my brows. Oh. See, it's, by using the clear mascara, it just makes me look like I have thicker brows. Cause I, I mean, you see what I look like with no brows. Like, I, they don't exist. So next, I'm gonna use the Lashes for Days Cosmania. Now I know this is a drugstore tutorial, and you guys, there is polish on my nail, I promise. Uh, I know this is a drugstore tutorial, but these are from TJ Maxx, and they were $7.99. So it still has the drugstore cost. That wallet is being saved still. And you get one, two, three. And you get five lashes in one pack for $7.99. Like, I normally personally buy, like, one pair, and it'll be, like, $8. But I, five of them. That's great. So... Now that my lashes are back on, I'm going to blend them using the Voluminous Lash Paradise in Black by L'Oreal. And let me just say, I like this better than the Better Than Sex Mascara. And it's 
literally like eight dollars compared to like 32 dollars so i'm just gonna use this and i'm gonna use it to blend the top and then i'm gonna use it fully on the bottom Last but not least, I'll be using the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lid in the color Nonsense. It's a sheer glittery color, but it's like a purple sheer glittery color. So there you guys have it. That is my drugstore routine, well drugstore makeup routine and I also featured the It's My Ray Ray palette by BH Cosmetics because it is an inexpensive product. Don't forget while you're here, click that like button, that subscribe button, leave a little comment right down there because I know you know where it's at because I'm sure y'all comment on other people's videos that just don't like mine but that's okay um anything else let me know what you want to see let me know if you like this look let me know if you went out and bought any of these products let me know all that thanks for watching